Hey guys, welcome back to Living Vegan. It's Chris here. Today I wanted to go over a, uh, a thing that comes in handy here during the winter and time when we're all together and people tend to get sick. And it is a uh, immunoglobulin A, or IgA as it's shortly referred to. It's an uh, antibody in our mucous membranes. It's secreted in our intestines. And it's one that's our first line of defense for keeping us healthy against colds and um, any other bacterial infections, etc. It's, um, it's in our mouth, our mucous membranes, of course, in our nose, etc. And those are usually our first line of defense when you're eating, when you're touching people, when people are sneezing, coughing around you. That's where it tends to get. And that's how we get our colds and viruses and things like that. Um, things you want to do... Um, to prevent getting sick during the winter, obviously good hand washing. Uh, try to avoid overcrowded places where everybody's you know real close together because it's cold outside. Things like that. Obviously, those aren't possible all the time, but when you can, if it's a choice, make that choice. Um, what it does, uh, IgA, is it keeps us healthy. Um, reasons it might be low during the winter. There's different things that can cause that. Bacterial infections. Like I said, if you're around more people, you might catch more uh, infections, pneumonias skin infections, urine infections, different things. Gastrointestinal infections can be bacterial sometimes. Uh, food allergies are also known to drop your IgA level, which causes you a chance to be sick more often. And another thing that happens to people that like to exercise a lot, train a lot, uh, are really active, is if you overtrain, that can actually drop your IgA level. So things you wanna do is try and boost that up during the winter months and when you're uh, you know around more people, when we tend to get sick more often. So ways to boost that are, um, food-wise, uh, mushrooms are great for that. Any for, um, fermented foods like uh, pickled cabbage, beets, etc. Anything uh, fermented foods, there's uh, all kinds of uh, Asian foods that are fermented. Decrease anything that might be a food allergy for you, even if it's just a simple one. You know, like say you get a little irritated if you're a dairy eater, which I'm not. If dairy does it, try to avoid that during this time of year. Um, also, decrease your stress level. I know it's hard during the holidays and end of year, etc. Try and decrease that stress level. That will also help boost that IgA. Uh, last thing, vitamin C is one. It can boost it. You want to definitely get enough vitamin C and zinc during these months. Vitamin C, don't, don't try and take vitamin C and zinc in pill forms. They don't work quite the same. You want the phytonutrients with it. So you want the whole foods, like an orange, strawberries, bell peppers. Those are all high vitamin C foods, so those are great choices. Um, zinc, if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you don't want to do the meats and things like that. You want to look at uh, beans, nuts, whole grains. Cereals are fortified with it typically. So these are all easy choices to do. And also decrease your training if you're overtrained, obviously. That will help increase at IgA so you don't get sick so often. So these are just some quick tips on IgA, maybe a little more than you wanted to know, but things to keep you healthy during these winter months. Anyway, any questions, comments, leave them below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And just remember, carbs make us happy.